Brought to you by Curious Moran Land. All right, so this video is going to go over your laptop startup assignment. So when what you're going to see is some information, and this is me. I'll be hiding around in these videos here. So this is what I call your laptop startup assignment. Welcome to Curious Moran Land. Welcome to Matheny Land. And when you look at this text, you're going to see, hey, this looks like the email that he sent me. If you check your email, there'll be the video link here. So what I want to do is go through the assignment. Now, in class, you're going to get a paper copy of a handout that looks very similar to this announcement, and that's this. This has everything that we're doing today for the computer lab. Uh, by the way, it's thundering while I'm shooting this video if you hear thunder. So the, really, the reason you're going to need to go to this handout is for the Blackboard part. But So we're going to do some computer law on. We're going to do uh, e-cards. And this, steps one through three, should, we should easily get done, and then we'll get down to step four. So what I'll do is I'm going to walk through these assignments, but I have it on this page here. So first, computer log on, getting on to Blackboard. All right. First thing you're going to notice, notice is I asked everyone to change their personal information. If you haven't done that, do that first. I'll put a reminder there. But when you actually go into your class, all right, by the time you re see this video, Blackboard will be accessible. Notice ours goes to assignments. When you click this, you'll see the first and second week of school. This is the same digital information that you've seen. And when you by the end of the week, you'll see another folder. So the assignments is a big button. When we're doing a computer lab, though, I'm going to make an announcement button. And that announcement is the guide for what we're doing that day. Sometimes I'll do this, sometimes I won't. This is all new with using the laptops. So let's walk through the computer assignment. So first thing you got to get into the logins. So before I go in further into that, I want to point out the assignments is obviously the entry point. The other hot button you're going to use is this one called course materials. When you go to course materials, this is where you're going to see digital copies of handouts that you will use throughout the year. Or maybe it's a PowerPoint. This year, I may have you go to this. I may have you go to course materials, open the PowerPoint, and copy down the first five slides. We may do that as a class. We may do it on, at your own pace with the laptops. So here's a handout. Uh, I'll talk more about Curious Marine Land in the videos in a moment. So, first part of the computer assignment would be logins. This button right here. When you click that, I already have it loaded. These are the stuff that we're going to use other than Blackboard, or I should say, in addition to Blackboard. So you need, for Gizmo, you're going to have to click this file based on your class. And when you do that, it's going to give you this handout. So there's no paper copy. You've got to walk through these steps, and you've got to enroll in Gizmo. One, once you've done that, it will look like this. I just opened period two. And these are all the Gizmos that we'll do. And these assignments will be assigned um, on a regular schedule in announcements throughout the year. So that's step one. So what I want to do is right, let's go back to our general announcements here. So say we're at this point. You did Gizmo. Now B through F all use your fcpsschools.net login. So let's walk through that. Let's go back first to the logins. And again this is going to be important. Blackboard is your delivery system to use the other software. So that's why you're going to be using this tab. If you're not certain, so for example, you'll go Google Classroom. If you're in this class, this is the code that you'll use. So let's go to. So here's Google Classroom. Here's all my classes, um, and there's an assignment that you're going to do after the logins, after the e-cards. So that's Google Classroom. Another software that we're going to use is one called Edpuzzle. So you need to click this link and join. Edpuzzle looks like this. What this does is it takes videos and then you watch it and it ask questions as you go through it. And we're definitely going to be using this a lot this year. Some will be quizzes, formal. Some will be practice quizzes. All right, we're almost done with the different logins. This is why it's important. Uh, one, this is one of the reasons that's important to know how we're going to use this to help us learn this year. All right, it's not just going online just to go online. There, there's software that we're going to use. So. Another one that we may use, Edpuzzle is definitely a big one, and that is Flipgrid. And there is actually a Flipgrid assignment to do today. So Flipgrid looks like this. You'll notice I have one for each class. You've got to, follow, again, follow this code. How do you find the code? You go to Blackboard, Login tab, 
and that's Flipgrid. So that's going to be the end of it today. So while we're doing this in class, this should take maybe five minutes to get logged in on all of these accounts. Okay. These are ones we'll use. Pear Deck and Padlet don't require a code. What I do is I post a code and then we'll use it for those particular days. We're definitely going to be using all of these this year. All right, so let's look back at our agenda here. So that's what Computer One does. Okay, or Computer Science One, login. Then you're going to have to go to eCart. All right, so let me just go over here, click this button, eCart. There's two ones that you're going to, I'm not going to load it, but you're going to do the biology safety quiz and the pre-assessment. Both these should take you about 20 minutes today. All right, now, once you've done that, it's time to actually have the fun part, which is the Blackboard startup assignment. And where are you going to see the details of this? That's where you're going to go to the copy that you got in class. So now we're at Blackboard startup. First thing you're going to do is you're going to send us an email. Well, actually, if you haven't done your personal information, if you haven't done your personal information, you need to do that. I we want your email that you're going to use this school year, your go-to email. As me and Mr. Matheny have said, when we send an email, it has the same weight as if we say it in class. That's the expectation of knowing how to use all the technology. All right, I want to wrap this video up. It's taking too long here. So let's run down to... Um, what do you need to do? So Blackboard, you're going to send an email and you're going to go to the blog. So follow the directions. Click the tool button. Should have loaded this earlier. Uh, send email. That's the first one. And then you're going to click the blogs. There's going to be there'll be an introductory blog here down at the bottom. You're, you're going to click this. Now these other ones you won't see until we're ready. The introductory blog. Click that and you're going to post and you're going to reply to two other people. All right. So let's think. All right, at this point, you've done Blackboard assignment, which is the third thing for today. Then the fourth thing is you're going to go to Google and you're going to submit an answer to this question, here, number four. This is what pretty much needs to be done before class is over. At this point, we're probably 45 minutes into class and you're almost ready to start exploring the other aspects of Blackboard and do the Flipgrid and things like that. So, laptop startup assignment. You're going to also, all you're going to do is type an answer to this question. How can you use Blackboard, Google, and your laptop to help you this year? And you're going to submit it. This time, you're going to do it through Google Classroom. So, what we need to do, if you haven't done, if you haven't logged in, you're not going to be able to do it. You need to go to Google Classroom, which let me go ahead and load it. Okay, so, I'm just going to click first period because it's first period. Uh, once we're in Google Classroom, you come over here, scroll down, and you'll see laptop startup assignment. It's the only assignment you have. So all you got to do is click this, type your answer, and hit submit, and you're done. And I even got the directions here and the startup page, which is the handout that you have a digital copy of. All right. This seems like a lot. When you're, If you're like, I don't know what's going on, go back to announcements or go to this paper copy that you'll have and just keep walking through each one of these assignments. So when I click announcements, it should be loading. My computer's going slow. Okay, so when we click announcements, this is, so basically think about how can we learn this? You got a paper copy, you've got digital versions of this, and you got the directions and the sub-directions, and so that's that's gonna pretty much be pretty much how it works. So the last thing I wanna point out is look at this announcement. See this link at the bottom? There are going to be times when I will do an announcement and I want to take you into a part of Blackboard. Instead of saying, go click course materials, I'll put a link here. Now watch what happens when I click this link. That takes you into this folder called course information. And the reason I'm pointing this out is there's the digital copy of the laptop startup assignment. Another thing you're going to do is um, in about a week or so, come and find the syllabus. So course information is anything about the course, not the content. Course materials is the content. That's where you'll see the PowerPoints, the notes, and things like that. So the last thing I want to point out is Curious Moran Land. This is my YouTube channel, and what I've done is I've made a playlist for each of the major contents. Now, how are you going to access it? I've got over 300 videos. So when we go to Blackboard, back to Blackboard, let me go into a, let's look at this. This is a digital copy of a handout. This is a video I made that goes with that, with that handout. Also, 
I made playlists that I put at the beginning of every unit, the playlists. These go in the order in which we teach usually, and this is this is an added resource. So that's what Curious Moran is. Curious Moran Land is, and this is our laptop startup assignment. All right. I uh, look forward to having you guys I use this as a tool to help you learn. And by the time you leave your high school experience, there will be something new that you will be adapted to because you, with, with technology, it's easy to get bogged down with how do I use the technology versus how do I do the assignment. We're always going to focus on what are we trying to learn and what are we, how we're going to demonstrate what we need to know, not just to the teacher, but so you can know it yourself. All right, brought to you by Curious Marineland. Thanks for watching, and look forward to having this as a tool for us throughout the year.